everyone. Welcome back to Lucid Raver. My name is Brooke. I'm your host. This week I have Allie coming back once again. Say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> and this week we are going to be talking about our experience at Electric Forest. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, it has been such a journey. I am just dumbfounded by just how amazing Electric Forest is was like my expectations were here and it just went boom yeah like i i knew it was gonna be like amazing but not to the extent that (laughs) like how everything like came together and just yeah like we're gonna get into it but yeah it was amazing i highly encourage everyone to go because it's truly like it's just something that you have to see for yourself to like to get it yeah yeah and I don't know for the past like seven years I've only heard good things and everyone just hyping up electric force and honestly I was wondering like I was wondering what the hype was about and all I knew was that I just had to get there someday and I wanted to do it with my best friend and me and you have been talking about it for what forever forever yeah and we were just so I was we all signed in at the si- same time to get our tickets. I had my cell phone. I had my laptop. You had your cell phone. Katie had her cell phone. And we were just waiting in line. And by the grace of base God, <laughs> I magically was able to score four yeah. Electric Forest tickets for all of us. Yeah. Brooke got so <laughs> lucky. Like, thank God. <laughs> and like... I just, I feel like it was our year to go. I really do. Mm -hmm. And now we get to go to Bays Canyon. Like, I just, this is a lot of, like, firsts for us. And I'm just happy that we're able to just be part of the ride. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm in the same boat as Brooke. Like, as long as I could remember, I've been dying to go to E-Forest. And I actually was able to snag a ticket back in, in 2018. But I couldn't go because... I was the only one that was able to get a ticket, (laughs) so I ended up selling it. But, yeah, I think everything just worked out, and, like, this year was the year, and and yeah. Yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, So let's start with our journey to Electric Forest, and first off, preparation. (laughs) We were so, like, we were stressing out because we wanted to get a rental car, but that was like a thousand dollars for just a, like a week, yeah. and yeah. yeah, the 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 prices weren't that bad when we were looking at them. I want to say like in like in April or yeah. something like like earlier on in the year they weren't too bad, but yeah, we were kind of like procrastinating a little bit, and then we looked at them and they were like a grand. Twelve hundred dollars, like it was just, it was bad. I couldn't justify paying a thousand dollars for a rental, and even yeah. like I try to get a rental from Fox Rent a car. Don't ever do it; they fucking <laughs> suck. Um, I was like, okay, can I rent a car? But can I take it out of state? They're like, no. I was like, what's the point of me being able to rent a car if I can't take it out of state? I just so confusing. So I was like, okay, I have a Nissan Rogue. It has a good amount of room but not enough room for three girls and all of our shit because I like to pack bouge like having a good camping experience we had three canopies and we're not gonna do anything less than three <laughs> canopies mm-hmm. um so it's like I right, I'm gonna get a trailer hitch for my car I got like a four by two and then I got the big camping um what is it like it's, it's just like a big round suitcase that you can just put on the top of your car and we're able mm-hmm. to, to fit in a lot of like light but fluffy stuff in there yeah. and we we made it work and we were comfortably sitting in the car like it was better than lost lands yes <laughs> yes for uh for lost lands it was me her and our friend deb and we made it work but Dude, it was so <laughs> jam packed in that car. Dude, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't even see out of the back of the car. We were all like in crawl holes, yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. you know, no. But, like that was honestly such a good idea to to get extra space, like the hitch and the attachment on the on the roof. 
such a good idea i'm so glad that like we got that yeah and just overall i feel like we were all so prepared yes for for this camping experience yeah like, we thought of everything we brought pretty much everything that we could possibly need plus more and yeah i think we yeah a pat on the back for my, that <laughs> my only regret was i personally didn't bring my electric toothbrush just because i didn't really want to charge it I totally regret that. You brought you brought yours, didn't you? Yeah, but mine is um, battery powered. Bar- so, battery yeah. powered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like there was so much dirt electric force that it was yeah. like literally sticking to the inside of your mouth and your teeth. And like I needed a deep clean. So yeah. next next festival, I'm, I'm bringing my le- electric toothbrush. Yeah, like so we'll get more into more more into it. But yeah, yes. the, the dirt was it was, it was, was, it was intense. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah the drive from fucking florida all the way up to michigan that, <laughs> <laughs> that shit was rough too. let's just say never again yeah. we're never doing that yeah ever again. <laughs> yeah even with three girls rotating in shifts that was really rough there was at one point uh at electric forest uh me and katie were uh at some event and some lady was on the microphone and she goes I'm doing a questionnaire. She goes, uh, who traveled the farthest to get here? And I, I was like, Orlando. And I had another group behind me. They raised their hand. They're like, I was like, how are you going to be Orlando? They stand up. They go, Miami. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. th- there wasn't too many Florida people there. Like a lot of people there were like more from like that area, like Midwest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They didn't, people didn't really try to travel out too far. Which is kind of, like, surprising, like, to... I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like I feel like there were more, like, probably, like, um, Floridians, but maybe they just flew <laughs> instead, of, yeah. instead of drive, you know? I, I feel like it was definitely more of a Midwest festival, but, like, other festivals, like UDC Vegas, Ohio, everyone comes from all over. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like it was more, I don't know, that region. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we finally, you know, drove up there. We got to Electric Forest on a Wednesday and we got there early in the morning. No, we got there like 12. Yeah. yeah. 12 or one. Mm-hmm. And we have group camping with, uh, our friend Nick and Nick has like this massive rave, rave squad of like 30, 40 friends mm-hmm. from like New York and not that part of the uh, United States. And he's like, come on, do group camping with us. I'm like, sure. And I have to say, group camping's the way to go. Like, not not regular camping, group freaking camping. Because we were super fucking close. It wasn't too far of a walk. Um, and all his friends were just so humble, so nice. Like, just, like, great hospitality. They came over and, like, children are fucking canopy. Like, I like them. You got to vibe with them for a good bit as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone was really, really cool, down-to-earth people. Like, everyone was just there to have a good time. And it, like, reminded me of, like, our Ray fam a little bit. Like, no drama and, like, everyone is just trying to have fun. Yeah, and, just know. love, support, just mm-hmm. good mix of that. Um, but, yeah, we set up our camp. And <laughs> I have to say, I was very impressed by our campsite because we had the best tent spot. Yeah. Thank you, John, for letting us borrow your tent. Thank you Thank so you. much. John <laughs> had this massive tent that was like, here's a living room area. And then it goes to the right. Like you have like a area to put a bed. And on the left, you have an area to put another bed. And then you have like a screen porch and we mm-hmm. set that up me i saw i slept on one side Allie slept on the other side and then katie slept in the car <laughs> she katie doesn't like sleeping in tents and the noise so trooper honestly though when i was like walking around the the campsite i actually saw quite a few people sleeping in their car really yeah oh i actually i think that nick's friends were sleeping in a car at some point too yeah. yeah, it's not a terrible idea, honestly. It looks pretty comfy. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm-hmm. But yeah, we set, a, set up our spot. We had three canopies. Like, we yeah. were just, we were camping like kings. And that's the only way I want to camp. Like, I want to have all my essentials with me and just, like, feel prepared and not have to worry. Um, 
But going from there, Wednesday, we... Oh, it- so after um, getting there Wednesday, I think for camping festivals, that is the best way to go yeah. nowadays, is getting there Wednesday. Because Wednesday, you know, there's nothing really going on. Everyone's just there to set up their, their campsite. But it just gives you a whole day to just set up and then just chill. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. I don't like... Because, like, Thursday is when the music actually starts. I don't yeah. want to wait in, in line for hours, s- like, yeah. set up. It's like, go, 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 yeah, go, go. Yeah, yeah. And I just, like... I'm not about that. Mm-hmm. Um, so, we couldn't go inside the festival Wednesday... Um, but we could go inside like the vendor part of the of the grounds. So like there's like you know food vendors. Uh, you have there is a pancake house. Yeah, that serves pancakes twenty four seven. Yeah, it's a drag queen pancake yeah. house. Yeah. And like I mean the food was okay. I got some food there, but like they had a drag queen show. Mm-hmm. It's like massive, like in the side of everything. They have a uh, free arcade area where you can play like old school video arcade games. Mm-hmm. Um, the merch was on point. I, I really yeah. like the merch. They definitely did a good job. Yeah, I think out of all the festivals I've been to, I think EF has like their merch like on lock. Like yeah, best best of the best. Yeah, I couldn't find a bucket hat that I liked though, so I'm still on a search for that. But they were definitely on point for that. The food was pretty amazing. Was it expensive? A yes. Little, yeah. <laughs> a wee bit pricey, but there were options that were more affordable. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like there was this um, this one food vendor and it was like healthy Asian food, but they also sold like this chicken sandwich that like Katie got. And I would get this like beet and avocado bowl, which sounds gross, but it was actually really, really, really good. And I got it like like two or three times. Yeah. 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 They had a good taco stand, too, uh, that had vegan options, but they had avocado fries taco. I didn't get it, but it looked delicious. I had their mahi tacos. There was a lot of vegan options for a lot of um, food vendors, which I really loved and supported. Um, but for like the main area before we could get in, they had like a little stage set up right in front of the electric electric forest sign that day, which is a vibe. Oh yeah, yeah, that was cool. Yeah. And th- and like the there was this hot air balloon that was like getting set up, and that was really cool. Like I've never seen that at a festival. Yeah, before. that was special. Um, so with the hot balloon, uh, how how to do it is they have incentives. They have like an eco friendly thing where. If you pick up a certain amount of trash, you get certain points. If you get cigarette buds, it's like 15 points. If you get a whole bag of just like recyclable stuff, you get like a certain amount for that as well. And um, the more points you get, the more name uh, times you can get your name put in a like token draw thing. Mm-hmm. And you can get a selected for certain prizes. And one of those prizes is an air balloon ride. And I thought that was so cool because I'm all about, like, saving the planet, being uh, eco-friendly, just, like, implementing uh, environmentally sustainable ideas into people. Uh, We definitely, like, you know, we didn't do that. (laughs) We, 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 We put our trash in, trash bag and stuff, but... We did not do that. Um, I w- next time we'll be on top of our shit. But it's just like sometimes it's just so so hard to like. <laughs> <laughs> just you just gotta get through your day. So <laughs> some days like we're up till seven o'clock in the morning and we're just recovering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and we're racing to get back into the festival. <laughs> but yeah, I really like the initiatives. Uh, they also had a food drive too. So like um, any like unused food that people had left over they donated which was also just so great love that incentive um but for the first day we were just chilling have a good time figuring out our surroundings and then thursday came around and yeah (laughs) yeah i mean so thursday so thursday was was the first day and what what time did we get in get into the festival? Well, we went in earlier to go scope it out, and then we went back to get ready. So I think we went like around like one was, or two. Was there like yeah, we, right before Smokeland. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I I feel like the first day was just like us being in awe the whole entire time. We're just like, oh, 
look at that. <laughs> look at that. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> you see that over there? <laughs> like, it was just, it was just epic. Just seeing everything for the first time. And, um, I don't know. I just think it was like, it just felt surreal at some moments. Cause, uh, cause we're just like, it's, it's really happening. Like we're really here. Like what yeah. the heck? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't feel like I was electric forest on Wednesday. It really yeah. took like full effect when we finally walked in. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Like I remember we like approached the, the giving tree for the first time and we we're like, holy crap. Like, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's this thing called the giving tree and it's this really like majestic tree and people just go up and it's just huge. Like, yeah. It's huge. People be get climbing in it. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be giving it. <laughs> but like you, know, you, you can give like your candy or whatever you want to give the tree. And then people can also take stuff too, which was awesome. Cause I, there's no, I've never seen a festival like that before. And it wasn't just there. It was all over the festival. There was a lot of areas where people were just leaving stuff like in little there's little fairy houses, like a bunch of them hidden all over the forest. And you could open it up and they had words and there's things in it. There's a couple other smaller giving trees like Katie at one point found just right in front of her. Just it appeared in front of her. It was the the 2008 Guinness World Record book. (laughs) And she ended up just carrying it for a little bit. She's like, I don't know. It just came in and I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> just, I love. That was great. I, I love random things like that. Like, it doesn't get better than yeah. that. It just, it, it just kind of feels like you don't really know what, what to expect. Like, things just, you know, come just with, like, yeah. Come just, and go. And yeah. like, if you're part of it, you're part of it, you know? Mm-hmm. And everything is ever changing um when we walk in there like each day certain things were changing i definitely noticed that like there was like this bus car thing hippie van i'm pretty sure it wasn't there like the two days before and then i saw it i was like wait was that there like am i tripping out or (laughs) i don't know i thought that was really cool um, before we talk about more inside the forest, I would like to talk about the stages so you guys can get like an idea. Um, when you wa- walk into the first part of the festival, the first main stage is called Tripoli. So we saw like um, John Summit there. Well, I saw John Summit. Of the trees. Of the trees. Yeah. Subtronics. Subtronics. Yeah. Yeah. And um, for certain days, there is kind of like a, a certain genre for each day. Like one day it was like all house. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. The all other base. day it was all bass. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I thought that was cool. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Um, and then the next stage that you run into is the ranch, which really gives me like bee vibes from Okeechobee. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah, very yeah. big and majestic, very yeah. open. And you have trees that you can like put your Dude, hammocks in. Those trees were were sick yeah. because they had like these Christmas lights on them that that like went with the music yeah. and stuff and changed and it was it was cool. Yeah, I I definitely liked B as well. And then when we walk into there's two ways to get into the forest and there's just the the forest is like divided by four massive long lots. Um but you can come in and like kind of like a circle eight figure eight you come in and then you can go back out through the forest and then there's like two ways to get out yeah yeah there's like a more direct route um by by ranch Mm -hmm. so like there's like the 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 route that like takes you through the forest and that takes like a little bit more time but when you want to go to a set like right then and there like you you go the more like direct route which is like on the side yeah yeah um, if you walk in the next stages that are there are the observatory, which is I really I love that stage. It, it was like I didn't expect that. It was like immersed into the woods and it was like we heard some drum and bass there. We saw a Wookiee there. Yeah, some house. It was definitely a vibe. I wish I had spent more time there, if Me anything. Mm-hmm. Um, next time. And then there was the honeycomb honey, honey, or honeycomb, honey, honeycomb. Mm-hmm. and that stage was cool because it was circular in the middle and people could just wrap around it and watch the artist and then also stand on like like pillars and like a setup around it was that part of the of the um the trading post that was part of it right 
or, or was that no no the trading else? post was just its own thing the trading post it was a smaller tinier stage oh, okay, the honeycomb okay. um it was just it was okay. like its own thing yeah like if you walked into the woods it was the furthest right one okay. um and then if you get out of the woods there's sherwood which was also a vibe i really like sherwood i wish that there was some shade implemented because it got hot mm-hmm. like we tried to watch yeah. smokeland for the first time and we had to like s- stand off into the corner under the trees because yeah. we would have gotten sunburned mm-hmm. um i i do like sherwood court but i yeah like i do wish there was like a canopy or something something like that but the the stage itself was really cool like i loved how like it was just really trippy to look at like honestly yeah. like yeah. there was just like it just looked like there was like designs integrated into the into the stage it was it was cool yeah, yeah. um definitely i mean all the stages were fucking cool mm-hmm. there was one other stage and it was um what was that one in the corner the one that you try to go see the secret um the i think the the hangar the hang no, the no, the hangar is his own thing, but the oh, um, carousel club. Yeah, carousel club. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That that stage looked really cool. I tried to see a performance there, but it it didn't it didn't work out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, a closey had a secret set, right? Yes. Yeah, I attempted to go, um, because I love closey, but when I got there, there was like security guards saying like, "Hey, we're at max capacity. Like, y'all are gonna have to wait." And I said. Nope, I'm good. And <laughs> I, I went to go see um, Lab Group instead. Yeah, Lab mm-hmm. Group was really good. Me and Katie were chilling, listening to it, and I was like, Yay. yeah, it was chilling. Mm-hmm. Um, so those are the stages. Uh, so for Thursday, we got ready, we got cute, and we went back inside. We ended up seeing. I totally forgot who we saw before, but all I can really freaking <laughs> remember is that I had to see fucking disclosure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. Like, I think that was my most anticipated set for Electric Forest was disclosure because everyone else I've seen already, like, you know, you know, yeah. yeah. But disclosure, like, I've never seen them and I've been wanting to see them for a while now. So I was like, and, the, and like, the fact that they were planning the first day too, I was like, yeah, I don't have to wait. <laughs> And yeah, like I am trying to remember who else we saw that day though. Was didn't Ellis Dream play that day too? No, Ellis Dream? I think Ellis Dream played the no, second. No, I think I think Ellis Dream played the first day. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ellis Dream set was good. I, it wasn't my favorite, but it was good. I I do want to say I feel like set wise, I feel like besides disclosures, like. No one set really like blew me out of the water, like music wise. Are you kidding me? Well, no, no, no. Okay, listen, listen. Like, I'm not saying that they were like mediocre or anything. Like, like they were all really good. But I don't think Electric Forest is about like how good the sets are. Oh yeah, if that makes sense. It's more about the experience. Yeah. 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 I can I can agree on that. Um, when I saw Disclosure, I really enjoyed it. That was my second favorite Disclosure set. I really enjoyed seeing Disclosure at the Sp- Space Park Miami. It was more like intimate. And I was a little kind of like upset that there wasn't too many visuals or like the right visuals. Yeah, I yeah I agree. Yeah, they could have done mm-hmm. better with their visuals. We were having a good time until Katie started like getting a little nervous and she wasn't paying attention to like the stage. And I was like, what's going on? And we had our freaking air sofa behind us with our stuff in it and i was like just talk to me what's going on she goes that couple right there they keep looking at our stuff and like i'm hoping not tripping out but like i don't know i'm getting weird vibes and i looked and i saw the guy eyeballing our stuff and i was like oh no 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 so we grabbed our stuff and and yeah we dipped like i don't have time for that and like i don't like seeing my friends like yeah because like, like she was like bothered by it for like 15 yeah. minutes like yeah you should like, yeah it, yeah like it got to a point where like i could tell like something was going on with katie and like and like y'all were talking and then we left and yeah. like once we we're able to talk about it you were like you know just like let us know you know like mm-hmm. yeah like it's no, it's no biggie yeah and like if someone is giving you like 
a weird vibe definitely like like trust your instinct because mm-hmm. it's for a reason yeah yeah and she said that she saw this girl she was pretty sure she saw this girl's facebook or, or, or face on like be alert you know like someone could this kind of person steals so you know just don't waste your time just be vocal say stuff because it'd be easier to do that and go somewhere than waste more time trying to enjoy your performance you know mm-hmm. but yeah disclosure was still amazing love you guys um we get back to uh, we get back to our camp because i think we we're really just tired so we didn't explore that night but the second day was okay well uh, right before disclosure i was they're sitting on the air sofa and i was like close your eyes and they're mm-hmm. like me i was like put, your, <laughs> put out your hands so they put out their hands and then uh, I put a squishmallow necklace in both of their uh, yeah. hands and their little butterflies. Yeah, and that, that was like the cherry on top to that day. Because like, <laughs> it was like, it just happened out of nowhere. And I was like, what? <laughs> Brooke made us this? Like, <laughs> oh, like me and Katie were just like, they're like, me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was so cute yeah. seeing their faces. They were so happy. And I made my own squishmallow necklace because I, I didn't want it to be yeah. too And it was, it was so fun to dance with it because yeah. it just bounces. So yeah. you're just like, yeah, it's it's just it is. <laughs> and like we got so, well, so the second day we all dressed up in LGBT colors and we got so many compliments that day from we so many did. people. Yeah. And with our squishmallows on and we're all just holding our squishes like this, like. <laughs> 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 it was the second day and the third day are tied for both my favorite days the second day was just Same. <laughs> such a such a vibe like it, it was just like a trifecta of energy between the three of us like me and ali have always had like the stars aligned together and then bringing katie into that it just like that whole weekend went like so smoothly like it wasn't you know nothing terrible happened it was just great vibes um that second day, who did we see for the second day? Okay, so of the trees, yeah. subtronics. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And okay. Well, we saw of the trees, which was a vibe. I enjoyed his set more at the Ritz though. Yeah. It was more like consistent and like vibes, but definitely cool seeing him. And then we got snuck into VIP for Grizz. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Grizz. That that set by Grizz wins was insane, Ali. I've he went from here yeah. to here to there yeah. with different types of like sounds. Yeah, he really did like a little bit of everything, just like wonky and weird, and then heavy, and then his saxophone side and came they, out. Yeah, and was, he did some old school stuff too. Yeah. Like he was just pulling all kinds of random. He did like like light harp shit, and then brought <laughs> it in. I was like, how did you? How did yeah. you figure that out? Like mm-hmm. that. Yeah, that set gave me goosebumps yeah. like twice. Yeah, like, for real. I was like, oh. <laughs> but yeah, we got snuck into VIP, which was awesome. But like to get through that crowd was awful, and it was it, there was a point where it looked like we couldn't get anywhere. And the girl we were following, she goes, she goes, so where we gotta go is just right past that tree, and I was like. Oh, bet. So I fucking just <laughs> dragged people, like push people aside. Yeah. <laughs> we were like like on the side of the tree, just like just trying to squish through. Just like roll through the side of the tree. <laughs> yeah. But we got but we through. We did it. But we, we got did through, it. god damn it. I was like, bet, just tell me the objective and I'll get us there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that set was amazing. And then we went to go see Subtronics and Subtronics fucking killed it. His visuals were insane. Yeah. And then he dropped if I could make a deal with God. <laughs> and he tur- he dropped that song. I was like, yes, that's so fucking cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that set was like, like probably in my top like three or five for like the whole weekend. Like, yeah. Like he just mm-hmm. went in and like. He's one of those artists, like, every time I see, he just gets, like, better and better. And, like, yeah. yeah. I love him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what's funny is the day before we were taking pictures and freaking I'm, I turn to my side and I see this girl with green hair walk by me. And I was like, I was like, Sonia? And then I was like, and then Katie points out that Jesse and Sonia just walked by us. And Katie goes, Jesse? And he turns around and he goes, and I have a picture of them 
like walking by in one of my pictures. So I thought that was really cool. Um, that also that first night too, oh, we were walking by. We saw, yeah, yeah um, we walked. Yeah, we literally walked by Pasquale and his kid Rainbow, like right next to them. And like you know, out of respect, I didn't say anything, but we were just like, "That's so cool!" Like, and he was just mm-hmm. had a mushroom hat on, chilling. Yeah, and it felt just so casual too. Yeah, it was just like, "Oh, okay." He's just enjoying his festival. Yeah. Like, I like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so back to day two. <laughs> so we do subtronics subtronics ends the night and we hadn't gone back into the forest at all so we didn't really know if there was anything else going on so we were like let's go see if there's anything going on if not we'll go to the rvs so we go in and we realize that there really is nothing going on um in there so i was like all right let's uh let's let's go and we're walking and I'm hearing some music in the festival, but like in the VIP camping section. And I was like, that sounds like Grizz. And they're like, yeah, it does kind of. And I was like, because we were just getting away with shit that night. So I was like, you want to sneak in? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, why not? Why not? You know? <laughs> So we walk through the VIP camping part and they're like, just show us your band. We're like, they're like, go ahead, go through. I was like, all right, cool. This is it. We walk in and there's the VIP camping and there's this secret private stage just for the people. It was Mm -hmm. so cool. And guess who's playing? Freaking Grizz. I was like, oh my god like this is just 10 out of 10 this is it we got it like everything's gonna fall in line so i pull out the air sofa i start fanning it rolling it up about to you know tighten it and he goes all right good night everybody (laughs) (laughs) so we're like we're like (laughs) we were like fuck okay well we'll just go back out the way we came so we go walk over there and security goes, nope. <laughs> we're like, what? They're like, nah, you guys can't come out this way. You have to go out the other way. And we're like, I don't know what that, I don't know where that is, but we'll figure it out. Cause you know, we belong in here. Ended up finding our way out, getting onto a freaking school bus shuttle. Took us an hour to get around this whole property, which I realized electric force is massive. Like yeah. I couldn't Yeah. A part of me is is kinda glad that we took that shuttle ride just because it really made us see how massive the venue is. Mm-hmm. It's kind of insane. We saw that they have a water park that yeah. you can do as well. Mm-hmm. Like it that's an option. We we didn't have time yeah. to do that. We, like I was like, okay, our stop has to be soon. <laughs> nope. We kept driving and driving. And driving and driving. And we're like <laughs> for a whole hour. Fuck. <laughs> We finally get dropped <laughs> off, and, and Katie's like, I just want to get this shirt from merch at the RV section where they're doing the after-party music. And I was like, we'll follow you. So we get there, and we're hearing some dope-ass music. Yes. And, and it I, was level up. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit. That's, and I was like, oh, there's Jesse, and there's John Summit partying right next to him. He looks drunk as fuck. What the fuck? I was like, well, let's just chill. Let's just do this. And yeah, it was so packed. It was. Packed. Yeah. <laughs> just a bunch Sardines. of smelly wooks. Just <laughs> and we vibed out for like the next hour and we mm. just had a really good time. We walk back and I'm about to go to sleep. I see our friend Nick and I was like, yo, like blah, blah, blah. I tell him everything. He goes, yo, did you see that John Summit back to back Subtronics? And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so yeah i regret that we missed that mm-hmm. but on the other hand we're cute enough to get into vip <laughs> <laughs> so fuck it it was it was an experience but next time i won't fuck it up um i would also like to note on that day as well um we got to do a releasing mm-hmm. for our friend cody, cody. Um, our friend was uh, killed about four years ago, and before that had happened, we were on a cruise. We met him. He wore his electric forest shirt, and he told me how much it 
uh, like how much it was amazing, how amazing it was and how we were going to all do it together. So like that was a really big thing for us. And, um, he wasn't there this year. So, um, I printed out some pictures of, uh, me and him and Allie, we got to write what we wanted. And there was this designated area where there was like lantern, like paper lanterns. So you could write stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was like for for people that passed away or people that just couldn't make it to to like um, Electric Forest that year, and it was all like in like these these paper bags and stuff, and like it was just it was just really nice. Yeah, and like the fact that you can like pay respect to to people that you love in that way, I thought th- I thought it was really nice. Yeah, and like I remember just getting like pretty emotional like you know writing down what i wanted to write and i'm really glad that we got to do that yeah i like i started crying but i'm just like glad that we got to do that release and i really feel like cody was there with us like ensuring that we had just the best weekend um, possible like i really felt like he was there watching over us mm-hmm. so love you cody <laughs> Woo. <laughs> so that was tuesday no not tuesday that was Friday. 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 And then we had Saturday. And Saturday, how do we start off the day? Shit. I don't remember how we started off the Um, day. So we we all slept in pretty late because we didn't get back to camp till like 5 or 6 in the morning (laughs) Friday night. So we, we had a pretty late start. Yeah, yeah, but, we did. Yeah. We were just re- recovering all day. Yeah. And but I believe, like, from what I remember, I didn't really want to see anyone until of the trees, and of the trees didn't go on until, like, nine. So we had, like, plenty of, like, just, like, time. To just chill. To just chill, yeah. Yeah, and what was it? Um, You, like, went to go... Like oh wait, so, sorry. Saturday, Saturday. Yeah. Who played Saturday? I I I I, I saw <laughs> I saw a wax motif. Oh yeah, with, that was like like mainly like the house day. Yeah. And uh and Closey and Porter Robinson. Yeah, yeah. You kind of veered off and did your own thing. You mm-hmm. want to talk about your experience? Um. So I I got to see honestly everybody that I wanted to see that day, and I'm just really grateful for that. Um, because. I don't know. I just feel like that day I really just kind of got to get lost in the music and um and yeah, it was really cool. Um I don't I I just feel like being able to hop around the stages as much as I did, like it was just like a cool experience. Like it's like, "All right, I got to see this this artist. All right, let's go." And then just kept like hopping around and and all that and um I feel like out of all the sets that I saw that day, I think I think Porter was really good because he played um he played Easy and I haven't heard him play that song in like such a long time and that song is like special to me. Um and Slander was so freaking good. Holy crap. Yeah. yeah. I was not expecting Slander to be that yeah. That like heavy. Yeah. Like for real. He Slander played drum and bass for twenty fucking minutes and I went Yeah. I went berserk. That was nuts. I was like <laughs> That was crazy. Yeah. So yeah, so uh Porter and Slander and then as for the house music because i was mainly at, at tripoli that day mm-hmm. um i saw a little bit of john summit a little bit of dom of dom dalla and they all killed it mm-hmm. yeah yeah mm-hmm. um yeah Allie like veered off did her own thing so me and katie ended up just kind of like huddling together and her friend had introduced us to uh this guy um taylor and his friend carol and they're really fucking cool shout out to you guys um they like ended up getting us like backstage and you guys are just bananas (laughs) they're fucking bananas but uh, we got coerced into a a dancing on main stage we just kind of snuck onto the side of front of main stage and i got to shuffle to wax motif on main stage and that was so fucking cool like shuffled my heart out i had someone throw their candy at me at the stage like you're awesome like you're awesome (laughs) 
And then uh, the security came and he pops out of nowhere. He goes, absolutely not. <laughs> and we're like, sorry, sorry, JK. <laughs> um, but we were just like being hooligans. Uh, and I had this Nezco outfit on from Demon Slayer. I really loved it, but I feel like my pants, it felt like I was wearing a diaper, so I had to change. And I come back, and just me and Katie ended up listening to John Summit, and John Summit fucking killed it. He was playing Psytrance and making it, like, just the chills fucking vibe. I love seeing John Summit. We saw a part of Dom Dalla. Love Dom Dalla. And then I was like, yo, Katie, like, do you want to just, like, explore? And she goes... Fuck yeah. So like, all right, let's let's go explore. So we hadn't done this one area before. We had checked it out the first day. It's called the hangar. The hangar is on the left back part of the festival. And basically it's like um, like a bunch of like rooms that are kind of made up with actors so there's like a room that was like a airport agency there was one that was a hotel there was one that was a barbershop there's actors in there and apparently if you talk to them they can unlock secret things like apparently you can get free tattoos you can get your hair done um there's also attached there like a whole area where you can do miniature putt putt bowling oh yeah a yeah. foosball mm -hmm. pool um just a lot of endless things that are all free and so we had when we were walking back when we were stuck walking back that night to find the shuttle we came across this guy named andrew i believe and we were talking to him and he goes yo talk to the people he goes if you go into the hotel room i literally was in a room and then i appeared into a secret burlesque room and i was like what the fuck like stop so me and Katie ended up going to the hotel room because we saw a line there before, but there was just a small one. This lady opens the door. She goes, reservations. And we're like, <laughs> and she's like, come in. <laughs> so she puts us in this little tiny room with like 10 people. She's like, are you ready? And we're like, I don't know. So it's just me, Katie and Taylor and Kayla, uh, Carol. And we're like, yeah, I don't know. She opens this door and we walk into a secret speakeasy and it was just so fucking cool. There's like a, a burlesque performer on stage and it was just like set up kind of like a lounge and in the back there were like silk beds um, and we ended up sitting on one of the beds in the back and there's this actor slash tarot reader and she's like, let me do your tarot. And she was doing our tarot, reading that to us while we were watching this burlesque show. And it was just that was the coolest fucking thing. I've never seen a festival go above and beyond like that. Like that right there is just I have goosebumps like thinking about it. It's just I my expectations were just blown away. And I really hope you you, you better stumble into some secret shit with us next year. Mm -hmm. But that was really cool. We saw like burlesque dancing. The second day me and Katie went back just for a little bit and we saw um this guy doing shab shabari on on a lady. It was just like so fucking cool. So um Porter Robinson ended up doing a secret set on the piano in the middle of the forest. Yeah. So like that's just the thing about um Electric Forest is like you really just never know what's yeah. gonna happen. It, it was actually Porter <laughs> and Gris did a secret set as well. There's mm -hmm. like this just piano like illuminated by all these lights and people just sit and people can play if they want to. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was really cool. Mm -hmm. Um for the third day as well. Yeah, I told everyone I wasn't going to see Slander. I was like, uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was like, Fisher. Yeah, no. Nah. But <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really happy that we went to go see fucking um, Slander. Yeah. That was pretty awesome. I don't really... Oh, the after that, I don't really... I think we were just like trying to see the afters or something, but there was nothing really cool going... <laughs> I remember we went we went to the RV place to like you know see what the afters were, and we saw the most. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, dude, we dude. saw the most grungiest like not okay thing. Yeah. Some person was playing like rhythm off like an iPod, and some guy had like on the drums. Yeah, <laughs> like live drums, and it was just <laughs> so 
dirty. I was yeah, like, it's weird. Yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are we in a wook hole right now? Like, mm-hmm. Katie's like, no, <laughs> we're not doing it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't blame you. That's not a fucking vibe. So like, we we kept walking, and um, Katie was like, is that John Summit? And it was like just some dude that looked <laughs> like him. <laughs> She's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not John Summit. <laughs> but like we, we kept walking and then I believe you and Katie went um went back to camp. Yeah. And then um me and Nick and um and Danny and also it was really cool that our friend Danny came and joined yeah. and um, we met him through um through ground control and yeah. for EDC Las Vegas. So that was really cool. I, I last minute convinced him, I was like, dude, everyone's telling me to check it, you should go. I didn't know he was going to take uh, take the bait, but he's like, all right, I'll go. And then he, he thanked me later. He's like, thank you for inviting me. Like, this was totally worth it. And I was like, oh. Mm-hmm. So, um, so like, we, we all kept walking and, like, exploring the RVs. And I'm honestly so glad that we did because, like, we had a really good time. Um, we ended up just staying this, at this one RV. And it was two dudes playing, like, just straight wook music. And they're from Indiana. They were really good. And we, like, made friends with this couple, and they were talking about going to the Mean Mug stage. And we were like, yeah, we're down, but we just don't know how to get there. And the girl was like, yeah, like, just follow us. And so we just, like, chilled with them, and, like, um, I don't know. It was just it was just cool, and, like, we, uh, we went to the, to the Mean Mug stage, and... Um, I couldn't tell you who was playing, but it was just really chill, like, look music. And there was a guy painting this, this beautiful, like, rainbow butterfly, like, off to the side. And everyone there was just vibing and chilling. And it was, it was fun. Hell yeah. And, like, I, like, we got back to camp at, like, <laughs> 7 a.m. <laughs> 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 just, yeah. <laughs> uh, what I'd like to say about Electric Forest, I did see a lot of areas where people were, uh, they had like areas for people to just come and bring their art and do art. Like they, it wasn't like facilitated. It was just like people just coming up and doing and creating whatever they wanted, which I thought that was really awesome in a sense. Um, just a lot of live art ev- everywhere. Um, the last day, though, so we decided that we were going to drive home after <laughs> the last set. So we packed up everything. I'd like to say beforehand, we didn't pay for any showers all weekend. We had a rigged uh, shower uh, that we made. I will, I'll post a picture after the end of this video. But basically, we had a pop up and then we had this massive pole that we put like our shower ba- a bag at the end of and like someone had to hold it because it, it wouldn't hold by itself while someone was in there and like got the water and stuff and you know what I'm really proud of us it worked did it slip and fall on me once <laughs> yeah. yeah a five gallon <laughs> bag <laughs> five gallon bag I was like ah <laughs> Allie's like oops <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's a really clever way if you guys don't want to pay ten dollars per shower mm-hmm. um but last day what did we see last day last day i wasn't like really trying to see anyone crazy mm. i think like lineup wise sunday was probably the the, the most like chill chill day mm-hmm. but uh, i think I, I know Closed D Secret Set was that day, and mm-hmm. Lab Group was also that day. Yeah. Um, and Wookiee was that day. Mm-hmm. I don't think, like, there was anyone, like... Oh, uh, Big Gigantic. That was the oh, yeah. closer. And that was really awesome. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it was, last day was, like whatever to me like i had a fun time but for artists i wasn't like blown away um i had like a good time i think by sunday i like like artist wise i saw everyone that i really wanted to see yeah at that point last day was just like more like whatever um but i want to talk about some installations that they had um so they had uh like this really cool like trippy mirror light thing that people were sitting underneath that circular oh, yeah. that mm-hmm. was really cool they had 
the trading post where you could walk in and if you had like an item there's like different tiers of trader posts so like yeah. one two three if like she had that squishmallow she could maybe i think that could be trading post too and you mm-hmm. could trade it for something significant yeah the the guy said that it, it had to have um sentimental value mm-hmm. which i thought was was yeah. interesting because it's like wait what like yeah, yeah. katie wanted to get, the, get this troll doll and she was trying to trade this pen that she got off the giving tree the guy's like how did you get it tell me the sentimental value she's like well it's a pin and uh you know it's it means a lot to me and he goes no i need a ba- background story and he, he went and trade with her so i thought that was really cool having the trading post there um there was like a lot of like hammocks everywhere and there was like a spider web hammock that you could lay on um I'm trying to like think they just had a lot they had this one a tower that you could walk up on and see like the whole parameter of like the forest but all of the inside was like educational eco-friendly stuff like just like letting you know like where the world's at how you, you could do better i i loved all the the, the cute signs throughout the forest mm-hmm. and they had all these like eco-friendly quotes on them like mm-hmm. like let's protect mother earth and like all these like little fun facts about like recycling and stuff i thought that was that was nice i also have to comment about the policemen the policemen were the happiest policemen i've ever seen like they were just showered with love yeah. and and honestly security was pretty chill yeah I'd say. yeah honestly they let me bring in my water a lot like yeah. a full water yeah okay so first festival that they don't care about you bringing in a water bottle like full with with water well they they made me dump it out once but they they don't really freaking care yeah. which i thought was awesome um i'd like to talk about the vibes of the festival the vibes were just so so astounding such plur so giving and i feel like since it hadn't happened in three years everyone was just so happy yeah. to freaking be back mm-hmm. i could i could feel that like like so many people i'm sure were like have been already and they were just like anticipating like you know the the comeback of, of ef and like you could just feel it like people were just ready and just happy to be there yeah giving and just loving Mm -hmm. encouraging all of that and it's almost it's a second place for me for like plur vibes because second sky that's just as that's the cream of the crop for happiness that's like that's a a care bear kind of fucking feeling but electric forest is second place for plur vibes just giving and all of that and i love that i really freaking do the only shady part was those people on uh, for disclosure but other than that just like be aware honestly yeah. oh don't ever put your fl- inflatable couch behind you that's our first rule put it in yes. front of you if you want to keep in your stuff in there you. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. um I'm trying to think i definitely want to go back to electric forest 100 percent. we would definitely want to bring our friends it's this festival is just it's so like Lost Lands was always my my number one music festival, and before going to to Electric Forest, I kind of had a feeling that, you know, it would be my new music festival. I don't know why, I just had a feeling, and I was right. Like, <laughs> it's just amazing, <laughs> and it it really is magical. Yeah. Like, like, don't get me wrong. Like, four days of bass music is like, it's like a plus for me but just the the whole experience of it and like i love nature so if you're a nature person too then please please like like give it a shot and just like i don't know like just being able to go after all these years of wanting to go and it actually happening like i don't know it just it like kind of hit different and yeah I just felt so lucky and I, it's my favorite festival now as well like i didn't think anything was gonna beat lost lands but here we are freaking doing that um i would like to talk about just a couple rough things the dirt oh yeah. for sure they're the dirt's bad yeah so um every single day you would blow your nose mm-hmm. and there was nothing but just black just straight black out of your nose so that was pretty rough um i recommend 
um, blow your nose as every much hour, as you can, every as hour, as much as you can, and wear and bring um a dusk mask, face a, mask, a, yeah, face yeah. mask, yeah. Um, so thankfully it was it was like gloomy and like like kind of like it rained a little bit the, on Saturday, the, yeah. So um, thankfully Saturday and Sunday wasn't as dusty, mm-hmm. but Thursday and Friday, dudes, like it was hella dusty <laughs> like there are certain parts where everyone is just like like covering their face because that's how dusty it is um i'd also like to touch note on the porta potties almost all the porta porta potties in the campgrounds like the lock doesn't close like people can just open it there was only a certain porta potties near the rv section that actually freaking closed and there was like some in the shade and that's where i went every single morning to like do my mor- morning deed um, so I was really disappointed in the porta potty section and the last thing I was disappointed in was they had these lights in each camp section, um, you know, to like, you know, I don't know, like to, to just kind of yeah. give people light. And by the third day, yeah. they turned off all the lights and we went up to some security like, why they do that? Like, oh, we just got to like. I don't know, like, uh, something is going on somewhere, so we need the energy over there. And it just seemed really weird and really sus. Like, why do you have to turn off the lights? Like, that's kind of dangerous. You don't know what's going on at night. So I'd like them to explain that to us, give us a better reasoning reasoning for that. But um, other another, than, oh. so, like, another little downside, uh, to electric forest is like it is pretty pricey oh I'm yeah i'm not gonna lie it is it is up there in price but to me i think it's worth it mm-hmm. because of the of like everything that you get and the whole experience like i do think it's it's worth it but just keep in mind that that it's it's up there and if you want to get like you know the the more bougie packages like you're gonna spend at least like a grand yeah and, and and more so but i do have to say that our original ticket was like 492 dollars or something or 390 i think it's 492 or something mm-hmm. um original ticket was that but that includes your car camping pass if you have more than one person in your car which i like and i found out with electric forest if you keep continuing buying your ticket make, make sure to reg- register your ticket first but if you keep buying your ticket each year the price of your ticket goes uh uh, down they have they want the incentive to bring people have people come back and this is the only insomniac event that they do that for which i thought was really awesome um but other than that is there anything else you'd like to say um no just a, a big shout out and thank you to electric forest seriously like i can't wait to be back yeah same i can't wait to like Bring and more I can't friends wait for like our friends yeah. to see how dope it yeah. is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Next year is gonna be bananas. I think we're gonna work Bonnaroo the week before and then go to Electric Forest. So wish us luck on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just really grateful that we finally got to go. We know what's up, and I can't wait for many more years. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope to see you guys next week. Bye.